So today, students, we are going to have a fun activity and game where we're going to be practicing reading and writing down inflectional endings. So what we're going to do is when we go back to our desks, we're going to work in our small groups with, and we're going to have two dice. One of the dice has root words on them, and the other dice has different inflectional endings. It has ing and it has ed. So we're going to have our worksheet in front of us, and we're going to roll both of the dice. First, I'm going to roll my root word dice. For example, I landed on kick, which is on top of the dice. And then I'm going to roll my inflectional ending dice, and I'm going to get ed. So I'm going to look on my worksheet, and under the ed column, I'm going to write kicked. And after I've written down the word kicked, I'm going to demonstrate a, using a sentence and acting out the word I just chose. For example, since I just did kicked, I am going to get up and demonstrate how I am going to use a sentence and do the activity. So let's see. Yesterday, I had soccer practice and I kicked the ball really hard. All right, students, go ahead and go back to your desks and go ahead and do the fun activity. I'll, I'll be walking around to check on you. Okay, so that will go in the ing column. And my sentence is um, I am licking the ice cream. Wow, so you got kicked, kicked both times? Yeah. You got kicking and then kicked? Mm-hmm. Hmm. But let's see, do these have the same inflectional ending or different? Oh, they're different. They're different, so why don't we try to put it over there? Perfect. Great job. As I was walking around observing the students, I noticed that Margaret was um, doing very well with this inflectional ending concept and was not struggling, whereas Janelle was having a little difficulty um, coming, understanding the differences between present and past um, inflectional endings and what that means. So therefore, I would um, keep monitoring Janelle's progress during um, for this concept and maybe um, provide extra support or providing her with more examples by reading books or different things with um, different inflectional endings to make sure that she really understands the difference in present and past inflectional endings.